land of two parts. Divide the land with Cao Cao, strengthen the country, and eventually bring about the world of Wu. This was the strategy devised by Zhou Yu for the continued existence of Wu. After winning victory at Shibi, the Wu forces launched an invasion of Jing province in order to achieve this plan. But before achieving it, Zhou Yu dies, and southern Jing is occupied by Liu Bei's forces. Upon Sun Quan's protest, Liu Bei promises to return Jing province after he obtains the land of Bashu. However, even after obtaining Bashu, Liu Bei gave no signs of returning Jing. Losing his temper, Sun Quan finally decided to march on Jing province. What will be the consequences of the worsening relations between Sun and Liu? Only Lu Su alone stood in the way of My lord, preparations are complete. We are ready to deploy at any moment. Very well. Tell our troops to head out immediately. My lord, I'm afraid that deploying troops to Jing province may be a mistake. Why, Lu Su? Jing province is the land we sought for so long. I only agreed to loan it to Liu Bei, because those curs promised they'd give it back after receiving Bashu. Yet, after obtaining Bashu, now they ask us to wait until they receive Liang province? Don't make me laugh! I shall not be honoring any bargains made with such a lot! I understand your anger, yet... <coughs> Are you okay? Your health is in very poor condition as of late. After this battle, make sure to get some proper rest. After the death of Zhou Yu, I don't want you to be the next man I lose to illness. My lord. <laughs> is there no hope of stopping you now? Yet, if we consider our future... We cannot afford to dissolve the Ushu Alliance. At the very least, we should try and seek a better solution. This is bad. Our men are bent on taking Xing province. I had no idea the disdain for Shu had reached such extremes. If we rush in now, it is likely to induce an uprising against us. Whether I live to see that day is another question. <coughs> Master Lu Su, are you all right? Shun, is it? I apologize if I've surprised you. It's just that I've felt so weary recently. More importantly, have you got some business with me? Yes. It's about this attack on Jing province. Is it really necessary to continue with this advance? Everyone says that we must do so in order to avenge Master Zhou Yu. Are you saying that you do not agree? Currently, Shu has the advantage over Wei at Hangzhou. However, if you were to deploy for Jing province personally, Liu Bei might abandon Hangzhou and return here. In other words, 
we would be giving them the time they need to reform their ranks. A reasonable plan. Rather than getting our revenge on Shu, we should be trying to wear down Waste Forces as much as we can. Yet, as things are, no one is willing to listen to reason. I'm afraid that's true. Our best possible outcome would be to occupy Jing Province and reduce the damage dealt to Wu and Shu as much as we possibly can. Yes, it is precisely as you say. Yet, we cannot afford to panic. We are attempting to rob a benevolent and adored man of his land and people. Engaging in a battle that would harm that land and those people is likely to draw strong resistance. I see. Your advice is much appreciated. I will remember your words as I head into this battle. The situation is grim. Yet there are still embers of hope. If the Ushu Alliance is broken, Cao Cao's the only one who wins. We need to keep damages to a minimum and capture Jing Province as quick We can. <coughs> the peasants of Qing province have rather taken to Liu Bei. If we try to take it by force, we'll have an uprising on our hands. I've got some great stuff here. I appreciate your business. As long as I stand, no one shall pass. Now then, be gone from my sight. Hey, get on in here.
shall be a fortress! Holding up in the castle would prove disastrous. Why don't we try setting the trees surrounding the garrison on fire? That certainly would be an effective plan. Yet the problem is the influence it would have on the peasants of Xing province. What was that? What did I just hear? What incredible fire! We'll be cooked alive! to us all. up to me to stop them, and I failed. I have let down Father and Master Liu Bei. Proper strategy is the quickest way to victory. All's well that ends well. Fire attack from the forest? Just what are we supposed to do if a fire breaks out? It's like Ooh's not even given the slightest thought about us.
We have to defend this place. Everyone, lend me your strength. Now, take defensive positions. Soldiers that cannot eat, cannot move. Let us destroy their supply depot and crush the enemy spirit. Huh. That certainly would be an effective plan. Yet the problem is the influence it would have on the peasants of Xing province. has broken their defense line. Let us seize this opportunity and advance. can do here. I shall withdraw from this battle. Proper strategy is the quickest way to victory. All's well that ends well. We've hardly received any damage at all. Perhaps our allies are looking out for us. We cannot allow a single enemy to get through. Defend this place with your lives! Mm. of the peasants in Ling Ling is lagging behind. If we can block the road now, we can throw the Shu army into confusion. That certainly would be an effective plan. Yet the problem is the influence it would have on the peasants of Xing province. All we can do now is run! Hurry! I'm not going there! There are wolves there! I don't want to become their meal! Be safe here. Thank you so much. Huh. So the peasants have managed to escape. All right. Let us block the road. We've got the Shu army cornered now. We are to 
hold the defensive line here. Do not leave your positions! Leave it to me. This should be it. Leave it to me. This should do it. Cannot be a foolish of me. Wisdom. Proper strategy is the quickest way to victory. Strategy is the quickest way to victory. I couldn't stop them. I'm so sorry. I couldn't be of any use. All's well that ends well. Three counties have already been taken? The enemy's momentum is fearsome indeed. This area is now under our control. This is what happens when you get preoccupied with Wu. Men, let us show them the strength of the Shen Yue. Pursue the Shenyue forces. It wouldn't hurt to put those Shu curs in our debt. The trouble. Fall back. Uh, 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 uh. 
Defend this land. that we end the battle here. If we prolong this battle, it is Cao Cao that gets the last laugh. Certainly. You must be worried about the situation in Hanzhong. Yet, I cannot simply hand over Jing province arbitrarily. I understand your perspective. However, I also cannot simply walk away empty-handed. I'm not asking for the entire territory. Just return half of Jing province. If you do that, I should be able to persuade all of Wu. I can agree to those terms. I will negotiate the details with brother. Allowing them to continue to borrow Jing province? Don't you think you're showing Shu a little bit too much generosity? Lu Meng, during war there are times when you mustn't be too greedy. 
I do not want to do any unnecessary damage to the Ushu Alliance. If that is how you feel, Master Lusu, then there is no longer any point in continuing this discussion. Lumong, I can tell by your tone that you do not agree with me. Or perhaps you have given up based on what's happened in the past. <coughs> Master Lusu, it would be best for you to rest. If there is anything I can do to help, all you have to do is ask. It is true. If we consider what needs to be done, I simply cannot afford to fall here. Lushun, there is something I'd like you to take care of for me. Just as you and our Lord have suggested, I will take some time to rest and recover. Perhaps I shall return home to rest my bones for a while. In the meantime, Lu Meng shall serve as commander. As for the vanguard at Jing province, I shall be entrusting that to you. Oh. In other words, you'd be leaving the task of maintaining diplomatic relations with Xu to me? I am simply honored that you would entrust me with such an important task. The alliance with Xu is becoming more and more vulnerable. You are the only one I can trust to make calm decisions without considering their personal gain. Lu Xun, I am counting on you. Do your best to control everyone in my absence, and whatever it takes to ensure the Ushu Alliance. I understand. I will exert every effort to make sure I do not let you down, Master Lu Su. been a while since I've returned to my manor. I hope it hasn't been reduced to shambles since my last visit. Master Lu Su, welcome back! Hmm. That face I just saw. I could have sworn it was... Just one of the many you've taken care of here, Master Lusu. Until recently, we never knew if we'd even have meals to eat each day. But now, thanks to you, we were able to become doctors. Oh, it is you. I hardly recognize you. Yet, why are you here in my mansion? When I heard that you would be returning to rest and recover, Master Lusu, I rushed back as quickly as my feet could carry me. It is due time we repay you for all your kindness. Just know that we won't be letting you outside until you've fully recovered. <laughs> now I understand. Just make sure to go easy on me, fine doctors. clash between Wu and Shu over Jing somehow subsided due to Lu Su's mediation. Perhaps due to the stress of that effort, Lu Su's health failed, and he leaves what follows to Lu Meng and Lu Xun. Around this time, Shu and Wei clashed over Han Zhang. Wu uses this to make an attack on Puffe. However, this attack is crushed by Zhang Liao. In addition, they are forced to allow an advance on Rushuku. On the other hand, after a grand victory at Mount Dingjun, Xu succeeds in driving the Wei forces out of Hanzhong. The winds of destiny were blowing Xu forward. At that time, an urgent report is delivered to Lu Su, who is quietly eating at home.
Master Lu Su. So, the rumors that you had recovered your health were true. Indeed, Lu Shun. Thank you for everything. Although these doctors had me under house arrest, so I'm afraid my muscles may have softened up a bit. At any rate, you seem to be the one who has the pale face today. Has something happened at Jing province? Indeed there has. Just moments earlier, Master Lu Meng deployed with the intent of eliminating Guan Yu. Oh, so this situation couldn't be avoided after all. I am deeply sorry. Just when you had counted on me during your sick leave. No. You have done admirably, considering the difficult position you were placed in. Was our lord the one who gave the order to eliminate Guan Yu? About that. Apparently he was coaxed by Wei. He was convinced that if Guan Yu was eliminated, it would be beneficial to both Wei and Wu. <laughs> Taking advantage of his enmity for Shu. Wei aims to create a rift between Wu and Shu, and eventually eliminate both of them. Indeed. It's that strong sense of brotherly compassion of Liu Bei's. If Guan Yu was to be stabbed in the back, he would direct that hatred towards us rather than Wei. Before that happens, we must find a way to stop Lu Meng. Lu Xun, thank you for informing me of this situation. Master Lu Su, where do you mean to go? Don't tell me. Yes, Van Castle, to stop Guan Yu from being eliminated. Though, I have a feeling things are going to get a little rough. But please wait! So everyone's going to be pointing blades at one another? Master Lu Su, people will accuse you of being a traitor! That may be so, but for the sake of securing the future of Wu, there is no other way. I see. Then I will beg that you allow me to join you. Though it irks me to place you in harm's way, I would feel more confident with you at my side. Now, Lushun, let us be off. The alliance is broken. Wu has no future. Even if we are to be defamed as traitors, we must stop them. Guan Yu's children are in a crisis. We must hurry and rescue them. from Shu's army are here for you. They say that they would like to help you. I am grateful for your cooperation. Now then, head off and advance toward Guan Yu's location and assist him. Carry out our will. Show the enemy just how powerful we truly are. Now's my chance. What am I doing? I don't believe what's happening. Your deeds in battle are most impressive indeed. There is nothing worse than being forced to turn your blade on your friend. However, if it's for the future of Wu... Mm. Uh -huh. 
definitely in a spot of trouble back there. Thank you for saving me again. All's well that ends well. is now under our control. I'll do all I can to achieve that. This is the destiny of even the most beautiful of flowers. To wither and die. I must slay you for the sake of my beloved Ooh! All those who have been injured, please step down. I shall be the one to put a stop to these enemies. against Master Guan Xing. We must hurry and confirm the situation. Master Lu Su? What do you think you're doing? And Lu Xu, even you are involved? Yet yeah, that's how you feel? There's no helping it. I shall fight you with everything I've got! Oh! 
Mushun? Why? All's well that ends well. I must hurry to my father. Together we must make it safely back home to shoot. They lose the will to fight. Mighty foe, but I am the son of the god of war. I will stand my ground. The god of war! I will stand my ground! This cannot have happened. 
not to me. We shall defend this position. Not allow a single enemy through. myself to my training. See to its defense. Defenses were flawless, yet we still failed. I think I grossly underestimated the enemy. All's well that ends well. Finishing touches on this battle.
have cornered him at last. Surrender and come quietly, Guan Yu. I will not surrender. No matter what hardships I may face, I will make it safely back home to my brother and fulfill my oath. That Lu Meng. Once again, he's formed a position that is difficult to attack. You can tell by his formation how much he's grown as a warrior. Master Lu Su, you mean to betray us? If you're siding with Shu, don't expect any mercy. Wait! Hear me out! <laughs> so you refuse to listen. And I suppose it can't be helped. I shall stop you with force. Go! <laughs> We cannot eliminate Guan Yu, you say? Master Lu Su, why would you go so far as to ally with Shu? Yes. Your deeds will go down in legend. Lu Su, why do you side with Guan Yu? Why are you betraying us? I cannot allow you to kill Guan Yu here. Master Lu Su, Lu Shun, just what are you doing here? Well, I... Lu Su! I will ask this once. Are you a traitor? I have no problem with wearing the name of a traitor if that will protect the future of Boo. What? If you kill Guan Yu now, then you will lose the hope of a brighter future. Wait. Sought not only a ceasefire, they also wanted us to attack Shu. Hidden here is their true purpose. Wei hopes that we will tire out fighting each other so they can destroy us. Right now, the alliance between Shu and Wu is so feared by them, they are doing all they can to force a wedge between us. We already have the strength to oppose Wei. We must not let go of that strength. I believed that as long as Wei would not threaten us anymore, then there was no reason to force ourselves to fight Wei. But you are saying that there's no way for both U and Wei to walk the same path. Is that right? That is it exactly. So please, I beg of you to withdraw.
I understand. We shall withdraw. Lord! It may be too late, but I ask you again to please be the bridge between us and Shu. Lusu. At your command. Lusu, look at you. You seem to have a lot of free time. Ah, my lord. I guess you could say so. After spending such a long time resting and recovering, I think I just got used to it. Well, that's beside the point. The commander who was supposed to be in charge of our entire army has really messed things up. You need to get out there and give them their commands. <laughs> I apologize for causing so much trouble. By the way, I assume that you coming here means that there has been some external activity. Indeed there has. Wei has begun marching on Rushiku. It's likely retaliation against us for breaking our promise. Zhang Liao is leading their vanguard. There are men in our army who get weak in the knees just hearing that man's name. I see. I heard about the recent defeat at Puffet. Unless we make some sort of move, it's going to be hard to keep morale high. Precisely. That is why I have called for you. It is time to release you from this house arrest. Right now, I am in need of your strength. Leave it to me. I shall come up with the perfect plan to handle Wei. Our scouts have returned. Wei has packed a large army into Rushaku. Also, as we had heard, Zhang Liao is leading their vanguard. Ah, those Wei curs! So they've really come to crush Wu once and for all. If we let them invade the southern banks of the Chengjiang, Zhang Ye will be taken easily. By the way, Master Lu Su, I heard that you devised a secret plan to deal with Zhang Liao. <laughs> Don't worry. It will be clear soon. Oh, speak of the devil. What? Guan Yu? Master Lu Su, don't tell me your secret plan involved. I heard our ally was in danger, so I've come to lend a hand. Master Lu Su, today I shall repay the debt I owe you for what happened at Fan Castle. I may be weak, but I'll try to help out any way I can. Guan Yu is to halt Zheng Liao's forces. For the other defensive positions, I have secured aid from Shu. Meanwhile, the rest of us in the Wu army will strike the main enemy camp. Now then, let us be off. We shall show them the strength of Wu and Shu. It's been a while, Zhong Liao. 
For the sake of the U army, I shall be your opponent. Guan Yu is keeping Zheng Liao at bay for us. While he's doing that, let us crush Wei's main unit at Rushuku. Destroy the enemy siege weapons and throw the Wei army into a state of panic. And Lady Guan Ping, please just do it as according to plan. Um, I just rush in there when the gates are open, right? Then I'll just sit tight until they are. I promise. We are right in front of their siege weapons, but no enemies have come to engage us. Something is off here. Perhaps I should try and see if I can't size up the situation. at the last minute. It seems our plan has had tremendous impact. I wasn't expecting that. I don't think any strategy could have saved us from such a defeat. That did not go nearly as well as I planned. I must come back and try again later. Well, that ends well. We've already been pushed back this far. I can't believe how fast the enemy moves. Master Joe Song. You're as nimble as the rumors say. Just keep up the good work, and let's see if we can create more chaos in the enemy's camp. Yeah. All right, 
Let's attack the enemy's position. Allow me to put a stop to that enemy. Just look straight ahead. Push heartlessly toward the goal. the vanguard of our forces. All's well that ends well. Excellent! You are an inspiration to us all. Charged with defending this area. We must not fail our Lord. We're much too short on men because we had to reform our ranks in Fan Castle. If only Master Cao Ren and Master Man Chong had been here, we could have kept the fight going much longer. Leave it to me. This should be it. That ends well. <clears throat> We've been charged with defending this area. We must not fail our Lord. <gasps> We're much too short on men because we had to reform our ranks at Fan Castle. If only Master Cao Ren and Master Man Chong had been here, we could have kept the fight going much longer. An excellent display of skill. We shall fight again. Proper strategy is the quickest uh, way to victory. Mm, mm, mm. 
All's well that ends well. Good work. You're amazing. Being so strong is nice. There. Are... This is bad. The... Air has been taken. No way. There's nowhere for us to run now. When we're most vulnerable, we must take action! Huh. The enemy is well trained. Master Guan Yu, I challenge you to face me in battle! <laughs> Lessons. We must withdraw for now. Proper strategy is the quickest way to victory. All's well that ends well. Master Zhang Liao has been defeated? Oh, Wan Yu is turning out to be quite the formidable adversary! Let's make use of Master Guan Suo's gorgeous fighting style. If he makes a flashy display out there, he's sure to attract the enemy's attention. While he does that, Master Han Dong can sneak around to the enemy's rear for a pincer attack. Ah, I'm getting excited already. Defensive positions. All right. I need everyone to defend this area. Let's go. Now is the time to attack. To me. This should do it. I'll let you go for now. Don't think you've won. Proper strategy is the quickest way to victory. Your deeds in battle are most impressive indeed. Enemy 
fights with a sense of unadulterated beauty. I'm afraid I must withdraw from this battle. All's well that ends well. Words simply can't express. Our front lines continue to be pushed back. If we'd only been able to eliminate Guan Yu when we had the chance. I am here to slay you! You will no longer be able to interfere with our Lord's glorious plan! <laughs> our target is that position over there! Forward! March! <laughs> We are to attack enemy territory. Everybody, follow me! Wait, is that our target? Okay, I'll do my best to take it out. The enemy is well trained. We must not let up our guard. Our target has been decided. All units forward! Now's my chance. Inspiration to us all. Forward. Our objective is to capture that area. Wisdom. Face me head on. We are to attack enemy territory. Everybody, follow me. Turn after reviewing my strategy. Proper strategy is the quickest way to victory. Yes, your deeds will go down in legend. Our objective is to capture that area. I am wisdom Hey, stop getting everyone's attention. Sorry, I didn't mean to say that out loud. Time for payback. Proper strategy is the quickest way to victory. Uh, the enemy has beaten me. I have disgraced the Sao family name. 
Guan Yu, this time you've really saved us. It is because of you that we were able to put a halt to Wei's invasion. Speak nothing of it. I simply helped out an ally in a crisis. I am the one who should feel ashamed for not acting until I was called upon. Don't hesitate to reach out when you're in need. Now, Master Lu Su, I must be on my way. That man is so strong it's almost frightening. I can certainly understand why Cao Cao wanted to get his hands on him. Yet, Master Lu Su, don't you think your plan, this time, was a little bit too risky? Placing our fate in the hands of Shu? Lu Meng, the key to foreign policy is knowing who to trust and who to doubt. Though it is wise to be cautious, you mustn't go around doubting everyone without giving them a chance. In the end, you'll just be giving yourself fewer options. Without Jing Province, where Guan Yu holds power, it's impossible for Master Zhou Yu to achieve his vision of a land divided in two, is it not? The situation has changed greatly since the days of Master Zhou Yu. As things stand, Wu cannot hold Jing Province and Bashu and face Wei alone. Though I do intend to realize the vision of dividing the land into two in a way. In other words, Master Lu Su, you would aim for a land divided into two by Wu and Shu? I must admit, Guan Yu of Jing Province could certainly gap the bridge between the kingdoms. Yes. And that is one reason I had him fight with us this time. And with the results we achieved, I think we are ready to move on to the next step. And what would that be? What we need is more men who can carry the burden of supporting the future of Wu. There is only so much that you can rely on us old veterans for. Wouldn't you agree? Sun Quan and Lu Meng's rash campaign against Guan Yu was somehow stopped by Lu Su. Lu Su's resolution and concern for the future of Wu moved Sun Quan's heart. At the same time, he earned the trust of Guan Yu. Here, the crumbling alliance of Shu and Wu was restored. Elsewhere, Cao Cao had passed, and he is succeeded by his son, Cao Pi. There was no way that they would miss the confusion caused by a change in leaders. In order to avenge themselves, Wu decides to attack Puffei. Among the numbers of those waiting to march were many young officers who revered Lu Su. Master Lu Su, is it really true we're going to attack Puffet? Oh, Zhu Ran. I see word travels fast. Yes, I just received consent from our lord but moments ago. Cao Cao has been defeated, and Wei is in chaos. Meanwhile, with the victory in Ru Shu Ku, the morale of Wu is high. But that about sums it up, right? <laughs> you are a sharp one indeed, Zhu Ran. For this next battle, I was going to have Lu Shun lead the vanguard, but perhaps you would do the honors instead. Gladly. 
To be honest, that's what I came to request of you. There's nothing Lu Xun's done or can do that I can't do better. So, just leave it to me! Master Xuron? Hmm, I understand. For the attack on Parfait, I shall leave the vanguard to you. Thanks! You can count on me! I shall blaze across the battlefield like an inferno! It's great that he's confident, but there's just something that seems dangerous about him. Yet, Lushun, he's got a stubbornness to win that you just don't have. I didn't know you thought so highly of Master Juran. I am most disappointed. If it sparks your fighting spirit, then I could ask for nothing more. You shall accompany Juran. It will be the perfect chance for you to compete as friendly rivals. I understand. I shall exert every effort to make sure Master Juran's flame does not die out. Charge the enemy main camp! We'll burn it to the ground! <laughs> 